Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to explore how to configure load balancing on the Comset CM770W6G router. Towards the end of this video, I'll also show you how to set up load balancing in failover mode. First, we'll have to make sure that failover and SIM switching are disabled on the router. Failover mode should be disabled automatically, but just in case, you can find it under services and failover. Make sure that enable is unchecked. To disable SIM switching, go to Network and then to Mobile. Click on SIM switch and then uncheck Enable SIM switch and save and apply. Now that they're both disabled, we can go over to Load Balancing. First, we'll click on Configuration and then go to Interfaces. And if we scroll down, you can see the four default interfaces that we have. So we've got WAN for the wired WAN connection, we've got WAN for the Wi-Fi client, and then we have the IF Mobile and IF Mobile 2 for Cell 1 and Cell 2. In this video, we're going to be using Cell 1 and Cell 2 and the wired WAN connection. You'll need to make sure that these interfaces are all enabled and the metric is not set to zero. In this case, all of the interfaces are already enabled, but in case you need to do so, just click on Edit and then check Enabled. If we go back to the interface overview, you can see that the metric for the wired WAN connection is set to zero. So to change this, go over to Interfaces on the side here, scroll down to the WAN, click on Edit, Advanced Settings, and then here you can set the metric to something and we'll set it to five and save and apply. Now that's done, we'll go back to load balancing. Again, configuration and interfaces. And now we can see that the metric for this interface is five. Next, we'll go to members. You can see here that we've already got some members set up by default. In this example, we want cell one and cell two to have 30% of the load each, and we want the wired connection to have 40% of the load. So looking at these members, cell one and cell two, the weights are already set to three, so these will be fine, but we can add a new member for the wired connection. And click on add. We'll set the metric to one and the weight to four and the wired WAN connection. And we'll scroll down and save and apply. Now we've got all of our members set up, we can go over to policies and then we'll just edit this balanced policy that's already here. So you can remove a member by clicking on the little X next to the member and you can add a new one by clicking on the little green plus and we'll add the new member that we created and then just save and apply. Now you can see that this policy has the three members with the desired weightings. All right next you can edit the rules by going to rules and then clicking edit here or adding a new rule. We're not going to worry about this too much today. So now that the configuration is all done for the load balancing, we can go back to general and check enable and save and apply. Okay, now that's done, we can go back to the overview. You should see that the wired WAN and the two cell connections are online and highlighted in green. And if we go over to detailed status, we scroll down a little bit, we can see that cell one and cell two have 30% of the load each, while the wired WAN connection has 40%, which is what we wanted. Okay, so that's the basics of how you set up load balancing. Now we'll also look at how to do load balancing in failover mode. It's almost exactly the same process, but under configuration, and members, 
you want to have the metric for cell 1 and cell 2 as 2 rather than 1. So to do this, I'll just quickly add some new members. This can take a while, so I'll just skip ahead. But the process is exactly the same as when we added the wired connection with the weighting of 4, except we want the metric of 2, and we'll leave the same weight. Now we have our new members with a metric of 2 and a weight of 3. Just hit save and apply again. Okay, and now we need to add these members to the policy. So go back to policies and edit. You can also switch these out by using the little drop down menu. Save and apply. Now if we go back to overview, you can see that the three connections are still online in green, but if we go over to detailed status, you can see that the wired WAN connection has 100% of the load. If I physically disconnect the WAN cable from the port, we can see that the load is now evenly split between cell 1 and cell 2. And if I go back to the interface status, you can see that the WAN connection is offline. Okay, so now we've covered the basics of setting up load balancing and how to set up load balancing in failover mode. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.